Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video, we're going to start with an introduction on function machines. And we're going to look at what function machines are, how they work, and what inputs and outputs are. So, on the left side of the screen, you can see I have a blank template for a function machine. Now, what goes inside the function machine is just an equation. And what function machines are all about is that we start with an input and we have it on the top of our function machine. Now this input, whatever that input is, it's going to get dropped into our function machine. And the equation is going to change that input. Now, once the equation has changed that input, it's going to come out of the function machine and we're going to refer to that as the output. Okay, so all it is is that we have an input, it goes into the function machine, we get an output out. Now, as we move through these videos, all of our x values are going to be our inputs, and all of our y values are going to be our outputs. Now, let's look at a couple of examples of how function machines work. So, I'm going to draw another function machine down here. And this time, instead of writing the word equation, we're actually going to put in a real equation. So let's go ahead and write y equals 3x minus 1. That is the equation that's going to make our function machine work. Now we need an input on the top. Let's go ahead and make our input this time be x equals 2. So 2 is my input. 2 is being dropped into the function machine, into this equation, y equals 3x minus 1. And I want to see what's going to be coming out as the output as my y value. So let's work this problem off to the side. The first step is that we want to rewrite this equation, y equals 3x minus 1. Now, as you can see, I did not write the x again because I don't need to write the variable. Instead, I know what x equals. x equals 2. So instead of writing 3x, I'm going to write 3 times 2. Now I have an equation with all numbers that I can solve. So let's solve it. y equals 3 times 2. That gives me 6. I bring down the minus 1. And the last step is just to solve 6 minus 1, which is 5. So my output for this function machine is y equals 5. I dropped in an x equals 2. What came out as my output was y equals 5. Okay, let's look at another example. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep the same function machine. I'm not going to change the equation inside. So inside this one, I'm going to also write y equals 3x minus 1. But instead of having our input be x equals 2, this time I'm going to change this input to be x equals negative 4. Okay, so now, instead of dropping in a 2, we're going to drop in a negative 4. It's still going to have to be worked through this equation, and we'll find out what our new output will be. So let's follow the same process again. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite my equation, y equals. 3x minus 1, but again, instead of writing my variable x, I'm going to instead replace that with my input x equals negative 4. Now I just need to multiply those and solve this equation again. So I have y equals 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Negative 12 minus 1 gives me negative 13. So my output is negative 13. So just to recap, we started with inputs. The first time I did it, it was x equals 2. The second time, it was x equals negative 4. We dropped it into the function machines that had the same equations of y equals 3x minus 1. We worked out the math on the side of these function machines and saw that we got two different outputs based on our inputs. All right, this was just our brief introduction on what function machines are 
in the next video, you'll see me work through a couple more examples on function machines. It's that math magician, and I'll see you next time.